This how-to video is on cooling devices for your soda fountain. The most commonly seen and most inexpensive cooling device is known as the cold plate. The cold plate is a block of aluminum, as seen here in the bottom of the Seagull cooler, that allows you to run your syrup and your soda water lines through these lines here, and run through, and they come up out of the Seagull cooler. The cooling device is immersed in ice, to work best, and it pulls the temperature from the product and allows it to be in the proper serving temperature to give optimum product quality. One of the other ways to see the cold plate installed will be in the bottom of the ice bin. This one on, is on the side for the video, but it would be in the bottom of the ice bin filled with ice and the lines would come out the side. Normally you seen this is a drop-in style. This is, would be seen behind a bar and the lines would be hidden from the consumer's eyes. In the bottom of this particular model, this has a cold plate built into it. Here is the actual lines that would allow you to attach your tubing to, and they would cool through the cold plate running up and down in, in the aluminum, and then coming out of the other lines on the other side here and up to your dispenser, whether it be a gun or a towel. Two other ways that you will see the cold plate installed will be in a small little baby refrigerator. We often see that. A lot of the consumers like to install them there. Um, there's some modifications that need to be done to the refrigerator in order for it to work properly. And the more popular way, which is a self-contained system, you get two systems in one, is this ice under the counter ice maker. And as you can see, we have it installed here in our showroom where you've got your syrup lines running in and out. And then as the ice maker harvests the ice, it lands on top of the cold plate and cools it to the so the product is at this bright serving temperature when it comes out of the tower or the gutter. Last but least is the other plug and play system, which is known as the remote cooler. This particular one is a uh, medium sized one. This has a water bath system down here in the bottom. You fill it up with water, and it has a cooling device, as seen here, that cools the water and it makes a block of ice around these cooling lines. As you can see in here, here's your product lines running in and out of the water bath, and that's how it's cooled down before it comes up through this line here and up to the dispenser, whether it be a gun or a towel. This is one of the more easier systems, uh, as the ice under the ice maker is, in allowing you to just basically plug and play, and it does its own thing. It shuts off when it makes a block of ice, and when you start using it and the ice starts to shrink down, it reforms it on its own and it shuts off again since they're quiet. It doesn't run continually, um, just like the ice maker, once it fills up, it shuts off. Um, these are the most common. They have to be within five, six feet of your dispenser. You can't put them very far away or otherwise you, again, would lose temperature in the tubing run. Uh, but these are the most common ways that you will see for cooling your soda fountain system using a cold plate or the remote cooler.